Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Samuel Nalapin and Karl Rosenkrantz. This game was played in St. Petersburg in 1905. Alapin had white pieces and he started with e4. Rosenkrantz played e5. f4, the king's gambit. Accepted. Knight to f3, the standard move. g5, h4, attacking the knight. Knight to e5. Knight to f6, defending the pawn on g4. Bishop to c4, threatening to take on f7. d5, e takes on d5. Bishop to d6, attacking the knight. d4, knight to h5. White to move. If white castles kingside, then a queen takes on h4. How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? Semyon Alapin castled into it. Queen takes on h4. Black is simple, threatening g3 and then queen to h2. Check. Mate. Why to move? How would you continue? Alapin played queen to e1. Queen takes queen. Let's take it back. If g3 then knight to g6 check is slightly unpleasant. Back to our game. Rosenkrantz played queen takes queen, the best move. Rook takes queen and Rosenkrantz castled king side too. Black is a pawn up, but white has a strong center. Knight to c3, bishop to f5 attacking the pawn on c2. White to move. Bishop to d3 was played, let's take it back. If bishop to b3, then knight to d7, and black is ok. So we have bishop to d3, bishop takes bishop, knight takes bishop, of course. If c takes on d3, then this is a funny pawn structure, isn't it? Black would be better in the end game. Back to our game. Knight takes on d3. Knight to d7, connecting rooks. Knight to e4. Rook from a to e8. Bishop to d2, also connecting rooks, completing development. Knight from d to f6. Knight takes on d6, removing the defender of the f4 pawn. Rook takes rook check. Rook takes rook, c takes on d6. Knight takes pawn on f4, knight takes knight, bishop takes knight. Material is now equal, but white is in the control of the open file and threatens to invade the 7th rank. Black to move. Rosenkrantz played the most natural move, rook to e8, fighting for the open file. Let's take it back. The analysis after the game had shown that rook to c8 would be the best. One line goes like this, c3, and then knight takes on d5. After bishop takes on d6, f6, if rook to e4, h5, and black is fighting back. Back to our game. Like I said, Rosenkrantz played the most natural move. Rook to e8. Rook takes rook check. Knight takes rook. And we have reached an interesting endgame. Which piece is better in this endgame? The game continued, c4, king to f8, king to f2, f5, king to g3, black to move. Player with the black pieces, Karl Rosenkrantz, was very unhappy with his position. The dust has settled, and he wished it didn't. After thinking long and hard, he played knight to f6. Let's take it back. He considered king to f7 and defending his king side with the king. One line goes like this. King to h4, king to f6, bishop to g5, check, very important, check, forcing the king to go to the king side, away from the center. After king to g6, then c5. After d takes on c5, pawn takes pawn on c5, h6, bishop to f4, 
a5 c6 b takes on c6 d takes on c6 black has no good moves a4 and after c7 knight takes on c7 bishop takes knight and let's go back in this position instead of d takes on c5 how about a5 then one line goes like this c6 b takes on c6 d takes on c6 a4 bishop to d8 king to f7 c7 and white wins back to our game so rosenkrantz played knight to f6 giving up the pawn on d6 bishop takes on d6 king to f7 king to f4 king to g6 bishop to e5 h5 there is more than one way to win alapin decided to simplify bishop takes on f6 king takes bishop g3 a5 c5 and in this position rosenkrantz resigned for the entertainment purpose i will show you just one line well if black wants to stop the pawns advancing he must go to e7 but then he loses his pawns on the king's side king takes on f5 king to d7 king to g5 king to c7 king to h5 and you get the picture i guess we can stop here what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now